How y'all doing, guys? I'm good. I'm good. Oh. Hi, Ruth. Hi, friend. Sit here with me. I'll move next to Ruth. How y'all doing? Good. Chris, uh, what was it like? I mean, you guys got after the quarterback early and late. Um, just take us through kind of what worked for you guys tonight on the defensive line. I just think um, the back end showed up really, really well for us. Gave us an extra second to um, get to the quarterback. And um, the front five, front four, they played resilient tonight, man. Those guys, they showed up, answered the call when needed. Mike Dana, George Carloftis, Frank Clark, being Frank Clark, doing Frank Clark things, he's moving up in the record books. So and, um, I think we just played resilient and stopped the run. We was able to get after him. Chris? Um, I think I planned for this game. Um, my whole offseason was dedic dedicated to this game. Uh, I missed a few big plays last year. Uh, I'm fortunate that I was able to, to move forward, and I put that on my shoulders. So this offseason, I dedicated my whole offseason to making sure when that moment calls for me again, uh, specifically, that I'll, I'll answer the call. It looked like before the, the last snap that maybe you thought about going inside, but then obviously you went and went outside. Um, yeah, the last play, I think it was gone far. Um, they ended up bringing the tight end up, motion out the back. And when they gave me that look earlier in the game, I was getting the tackle and the guard. And I figured since the tight end was on the line, they was on the match protection, keeping the tight end in, making them chip, chip the D in. So in my head, I was thinking maybe I can get a one-on-one -on -one with the tight end. If not, I can get a one-on-one -on -one with the tackle, and I, um, I feel pretty good about it. Chris, you folks, did a Chris, good job keeping it down this week with some of the back and forth, had to with the fourth, right? You guys didn't really respond. I wonder if you stayed up for that at all out there today and how you, how you did that. I'm sure you were feeling it. Listen, man, um, we're not a team that talks, okay? We're not a team that talks. We just go out and play the game respectfully, but don't ever, ever, ever disrespect Arrowhead Stadium at G E H A. Okay. <laughs> the uh, disrespect, you, uh, just some, some uh, with the disrespect earlier on in the season, man, and, and coming into this game, uh, does that make this win that much more special because you guys were counted out in this game? Listen, man, for some reason we're always counted out, whether it's in our division, whether it's in against the Bengals. They done beat us three times, and, you know, we knew we, we enjoy the, the, the motivation that being counted out give us. I think we got a lot of competitors on this team. We look forward to the challenge. I want to know, tell me about these uh, mice on your shoulder. What's that all about? Listen, it's an old jacket. I haven't, I had it like two years ago and I seen Joe Burrow wear the teddy bear and I was like, I can't let him outdo me, right? So I had to bring out a teddy bear. <laughs> hey, I, I mean, had, there'd been a lot made Chris Jones doesn't have any playoff sacks. Like, had that been you at all? And how did it feel to get, get not just one but two today? It's been a lot made by you guys. Y'all make it bigger than what it is. I really personally do not care about stats in the playoffs. My job is to make sure that I, I, I play hard, play physical, set a different style out of a line of scrimmage, and um, make my teammates around me make plays. And whether it's taking a double team the whole game, uh, whether it's getting the one-on-one -on -one and winning. Um, I think you guys actually blew it, blew it out of proportion. It don't really matter to me, but I'm fortunate that you guys can have another story that Chris Jones finally got a sack, you know? Did Chris enter your mind at all when you got it? No, no. It, it, I knew it entered you guys' mind like Chris Jones finally got it. That wasn't a goal for me, okay? I just want you guys to know, but you guys, I understand the logic of it. Um, 11 games, no sacks, so I get it. Four more. Chris, uh, thinking back to the after you won the Super Bowl, right after you were talking Dynasty right away, and it's been a long road back, just what will it mean to get this opportunity? Where if you win, I think a lot of people feel like, okay, we're, we're, we're there when it comes to that. Um, the opportunity itself is important. I'm grateful for the opportunity. I don't want to start no Dynasty talk. You got to start blowing it out of proportion. Um, right now, we got a we got a challenge ahead of us against a, a heck of a team. So we're looking forward to preparing for those guys and um, playing in the Super Bowl again. We're back, baby.
Mike. We're back. Chris Patrick said he was very motivated late to make something happen because the stocks you guys were hitting. Um, what motivation did you guys draw from what you were able to do when you were there all night? You know, listen, Pat is a warrior. I don't have to sit up here and tell you how resilient Pat is. His game speaks for itself. What he did for four quarters there, what he did for two and a half quarters last game. I mean, he's a resilient guy, so I think his, his play speaks for itself. Yeah, I was going to follow up with that, too, just you know, knowing, watching Pat all week, being around him, what do you think it took for him to go out there and play today? Nothing. <laughs> he got treatment all week. I mean, what you guys want me to say? He got treatment all week. <laughs> He was good. He, he played fantastic, though, man. Um, Chris, given how much the season has gone for a lot of you guys, how much do you take gratification, not just that you had some redemption, but everybody on the team? Listen, God is good. We waited for this moment all year. We knew it might be an opportunity. We get to see those guys again, but we are back, baby. See y'all.